Today I'm going to talk about the potentials of artificial intelligence for occupational safety risk analysis, which is part of my PhD project. So, um, first things first, uh, risk analysis, it's, uh, I use this as an overarching term because uh, we have different types of uh, risk analysis and I especially focus on uh, hazard assessment, which is a uh, mainstay in, in the German uh, system to assess the workplace uh, regarding hazards. But uh, in, the, in the overarching uh, view, uh, you would count also uh, such things as communication and management of risk uh, among this. So yeah, that's uh, the thing in, in Germany why we have to address this, um, this uh, topic. Um, it's estimated that for about 50% of workplaces, no hazard assessment has been done, but it's mandatory by law to do this. And so we have to ask ourselves uh, why and can we support uh, this uh, to, to uh, reduce the, the number of missing workplaces here. Um, and the thing is, 50% sounds bad, but it's, um, it's unevenly distributed uh, regarding company sizes. So it's uh, for, for uh, small and, and smallest companies, it's more like 80 to 90% missing uh, workplace hazard assessments. So that's really the, the, the uh, ultimate goal we want to uh, reach to, to get to these small and smallest companies. So um, the problem we have is we have uh, heterogeneous data um, and, and very complex data uh, in some cases and also rare events. So uh, an accident we reduced it pretty, <laughs> pretty to pretty low numbers uh, in, in the last century. And uh, so we, we have few labels. So we, we don't know if a setup is safe because if nothing happens, it could happen, but we don't know. If there's an accident, we know, okay, it was unsafe. But those are uh, very rare um, events uh, in terms of, of looking at the complete system on, on all workplaces over, over time. And so the uh, idea came up, uh, why don't we try to tackle this with artificial intelligence? Because it's unrealistic to have explicit rules a programmer could follow to, to just do some classic software support. And artificial intelligence is good with training with samples. So um, the challenge then is uh, to tackle all those problems with heterogeneous data, incomplete, sparsely labeled data. And uh, yeah, the, the idea is to detect risks and uh, also localize the sources of risk. So there's uh, different um, types of data where we can uh, draw uh, upon. Um, so uh, we have plans and diagrams, um, uh, processes, uh, process data, process diagrams. Um, we know of the substances, uh, or we know of some of the substances <laughs> involved with workplaces. Um, as probabilities and frequencies and so on. And um, the uh, last point is uh, text and historical data. And uh, that's actually uh, the largest part of, of uh, hazard assessment. It's just text more or less structured, more or less digitalized. And uh, all the other types of uh, data are not really uh, included in hazard assessments. And so the next uh, point is um, how can we tackle task complexity and uh, the necessity of uh, having the human in control. And um, there are some uh, approaches how to do this and uh, one of these is the uh, approach of hybrid intelligence which is um, the, the goal of creating artificial intelligence together, uh, which performs together with a human but they learn from each other. It's not only the human providing uh, training data to the system, but also the system uh, giving back something to keep up competencies to uh, probably even gain new competencies. And um, an important aspect uh, in this case is also explainability. If it's not explained to me, I'm not able to understand, not able to build up competencies. And uh, also a very important aspect, which is often neglected, is I need to address UI. So user interfaces, um, how, how do I interact with such a system? 
Um, what I did uh, so far is uh, requirement solicitation with uh, experts uh, in our house, with uh, uh, practitioners uh, of uh, work safety. And um, on the other hand, I uh, performed interviews with uh, a larger company so far. And uh, the results until now, which are published, is uh, concepts uh, the concept of the whole system, the requirements uh, from, from the Bauer part, because the, the uh, interviews with the big companies are not finished uh, until now. Um, then we get to a more interesting part, NLP. I uh, just ta uh, told you um, the main body of data is text. And so this NLP is uh, natural language processing. And that's really the, the uh, family of, of AI approaches we, we need to uh, dive into. We have to process text data, more or less structured, more or less digitalized. And so that's the problem we have to handle. And we are uh, trying to address this by uh, targeting accident descriptions, but with an ultimate goal of targeting workplace descriptions. They should be in hazard assessments, but they are not. So it's for, for risky, for high-risk workplaces where we know there is a risk, there is a workplace description in detail. And for, for all the other workplaces, it's just like a checklist or something where, where they kept the effort low. So, um, as I also already mentioned, this, uh, the interaction design is really complex because we, we have to address very different kinds of uh, um, problems. Um, like uh, how do I uh, react or can I react at all if there's an error in the system, can I correct the system, and so on. So um, the work in progress, uh, cooperating businesses, um, I'm targeting here, um, on one hand, larger industries, because we think they have a, a good database on, on all this, where we can also find uh, additional data um, in addition to the uh, text data. And on the other hand, uh, to look into smaller uh, businesses as well um, to see wh what is their, um, their level where, where we can start from. What would we have to um, accomplish so they can use such a system too? And uh, yeah, the, the other uh, current <laughs> issue is um, implementing AI tools to also show the uh, experts in the field what could be possible. Because if I ask them, uh, what do you need, then uh, yeah, the, the capabilities of AI today, they are not present for them. So I have to implement something, show them something, and um, develop systems together with them to uh, yeah, accomplish such, uh, such an AI tool which, which will work together with the human and not uh, just draw from the human. So, uh, further perspectives. So it's not really part of my uh, PhD project anymore, but um, we also think if I have such a system, I could also provide uh, interfaces to inspection. So, the, uh, uh, um, a company could provide to inspectors data from such a system. And um, yeah, that's, that's really something uh, which is uh, a bit further off, uh, is evaluation, because as long as I don't know which company really provides field access in the end, and, uh, and which um, AI systems I use here, um, and this is, I know I have to do this, but it's a bit off right now. And uh, so, that's my talk today, and uh, I'm open for your questions. <laughs>